Ever wonder how TechScan packs pressure sensitive capabilities into such a thin, flexible sensor? If so, let's take a look into the anatomy of a pressure mapping sensor. All sensor components are enclosed within ultra-thin, flexible substrates. Rows and columns of conductive materials are applied to the length of the sensor. A dielectric layer is also applied between the conductive materials to prevent shorting. Next, a layer of pressure-sensitive material is applied between the intersecting conductive rows and columns. Finally, an adhesive layer is applied to seal the sensing area and the sensor is laminated together. So that covers the basics of the technology, but what happens when the sensor receives pressure? For that, let's take an even closer look. As we illustrated earlier, a pressure-sensitive layer is applied between intersecting layers of semiconductive material. Each intersection is a single, independent sensing point called a sense cell. As pressure is applied to the sensor, the individual sense cells experience a change in resistance. This resistance change is transmitted down the sensor traces and to the scanning electronics. The scanning electronics convert the resistance change into a digital output, which is captured and displayed by the software in real time. This data can be recorded and exported into multiple user-friendly file formats. For more information about pressure mapping technology, visit techscan.com slash sensor technology.